Hello and welcome to the second episode of Baldur's Gate. I'm Shox and today hopefully we get around to leave Candlekeep. Um, so I think we have a mission to get some bolts uh, for the guy that was in the bar barracks. Let's see. Quests. An errand for Fuller. Mm -hmm. So if I fetch... A fetch crossbow bolts from the innkeeper. So let's just do that. Done and done. Hmm? Talk to you. There you go. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Well, hello there, young one. Come to visit your old pal Wintrop, have you? Well, don't forget the ten thousand gold piece book entrance fee as per candle keeps custom. Don't you know? You always were the big kidder, Wintrop. That gets funnier very nearly every time I hear it. Well, perhaps not quite so often. Ha! Just having a bit of fun with you, my friend. The monks may be walking about with poles in the nethers, but you know, you're always welcome here in my sight. Gorion did well by you, he did. So, is there anything I can do for you? Some drinks, a room to sleep, or anything to buy? Uh, sure. What do you have? So, we wanna first buy some bolts for um, the guy. Let's just buy bolts. I think one is enough. Uh, we'll see. Well, Let's go up here and talk to hello there. Uh, Flidia. Oh, hello. Hey, have you seen my copy of the history of Halrua anywhere? You know how I can't stand the constant shuffling of arthritic feet up in the library, so I thought I'd get a bit of fresh air just east of here and, uh... Oh, I hate being so absent-minded. Please, if you find it, I really do need it back. Alright. Well, let's, let's see if we can find it. I think I have an idea where she left it. And we also have to give... Um... That guy. What do you need? The antidote. Nice day, ain't it? Too bad Nessa here ain't enjoying it though. We're being sick and all day. I need to get her one of them potions of antidote of Hull. He set up drinking last night and got hauled out of bed to man the gates early this morning. So but he's got a few of them lying around somewhere. Yeah, he actually told us that what do you need? he might be able to use one of those. Yeah, hey, you're a wonder, you are. Stick with me and we'll go far. Well, Okay, stick with me and we'll probably never leave the walls of Candlekeep, would we? Hmm. Good thing you ain't wearing none of the metal armor, though, as I hear that the bandits out there would just as soon kill you as look at you to get it off your back. I just hope this whole Iron Crisis business is wrapped up soon. Yeah, we too. And let's just take a look into the hay and what we have here. We have... The history of Harua. Yay! <clears throat> so we found her book. We got the the antidote to um, that guy. Now let's just go back and deliver the bolts. Give the sword to Hull. And I think there's one more building down, down in, in the south we can visit, the infirmary. Then get some gear and get out of Candlekeep. Hell yeah. Time to start the adventure. Considering there are already two assassins have been sent after us, trying to kill us in Candlekeep. You know, maybe we should just leave, take that as a sign. Alright, go back in here. That task. guy. I should have joined the army. Here you are, you little money grubber. Put a few gold pieces in your purse. Oh, now I get the money. Alright. What a midfield night. Wait, we already talked that. Oh, I think he just gave us the money um, because we actually gave him the bolts. Great. So now let's go to the infirmary if I can find it. I think it's here. There's a chest we can take a look at too. See if anything's in there. Uh, we already talked to him. To... Ah, I forgot his name. Ah, oh, we can look into the chest. Oh well. And I think we can go in here. Yes. Done and done. 
Niffing. What is this? Like everybody's sleeping. Um Hello. These walls contain the world's knowledge. So you're sick? You look rather healthy to me, but you never can tell. Do you need any potions or such things? Ah, that, yes. That would be nice of you. Alright then, take this potion. Well, thank you very much. I probably can need it. Simple task. Very well, as soon as we get out of candle keep. Uh what's up, Hull? Took your sweet time, didn't you? Gordon's a fool for trying to bring you upright, and you can tell him I said so too. If I didn't know any better, I'd say this whole iron crisis is the result of trips like you wandering off with people's swords. You just take gold pieces. Now get out of here. I'm on duty. What a dick. We should have just kept the sword, never brought it back to him. But we get experience for that. And a little bit of gold. So we'll take that. Let's go back, see uh, what we can sell from all the things we have in our inventory. And then get some nice gear. And as soon as you have nice gear, we'll talk to Gorion. Where you at, guy? All on the double. I think there there is a two times speed button. I just don't know which one it is. All right, get in there. So I think we, considering we're a thief, we we also might wanna. Go upstairs and take a look. We also want to take a look upstairs if we can steal anything. Uh, hopefully without getting caught. Firebed elven hair. Ah yes, I'm back within the hollowed halls of Candlekeep. With this iron crisis upon us, the trip from Bergost was more hazardous than I care to relate. You're going to ward, aren't you? My, you have come into your own. If you permit an old man jealous of youth to say so. Hmm. I left an identify scroll with Teth Tethtoril in the inner grounds. You should be done examining it by now, so if you could fetch it for me, I'd be grateful. Hmm. I mean, pretty sure we could use that one pretty well for ourselves. No time to chit chat. Oh. They're very noblish and don't want to talk to us. Oh yes, darling. They're most standoffish. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I, I think this one is pretty funny. Um, oh, I wouldn't let it concern you, my lady. Perhaps they are not used to wealth such as yours. You're quite wealthy, are you not? Bring a lot of expensive jewelry with you. I shouldn't answer that, lovely. Seems as though this scoundrel might be trying to get a bit too familiar. Sizing up the potential loot, I think I should think. Best you to move along, lest the local constabulary gets involved. Aww. How cute. There's a fike here. Alright, let's uh, check out the upstairs. A simple task. What we can find here. Just gold. Let's see if we can open that. Oh, a necklace. Look at that. Some in here. Oh, thirty six gold and a potion. What was that? A potion of clarity. This potion will maintain clarity and order from encroaching chaos and insanity. After drinking this potion, the imbiber feels an overwhelming sensation of calm and purpose, such that he will be unaffected by threatening influences like feeble mind, confusion, fear, and charm. This feeling will last for one hour or until dispelled. Hmm, huh, nice. Not bad. Yeah, I think we want to mess uh, with him that early in the game. Pickpocketing. If there are easier targets around. Oh, it failed? Damn. 
don't know if retrying changes anything, but I, I don't think so. Maybe it is a I try and if I fail, I fail kind of mechanic. We might be able to come back later, but I'm not sure if there's anything that um, interesting here. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Let's just see what we can sell. Sell all. Oh no, I have to give that to her. We skipped that. Hmm. Let's just sell all those things. And because our specialty is uh, Wakisashi, Ninjato, and. What's the other one? Uh, there's another one in between, I think. Oh, uh, Sintimara. Um, I'm gonna get one of those. So this one is... 1d8. <clears throat> 1d8 slashing the... Vakisashi is 1d8 piercing. And the Ninja 2 is 1d8 slashing. So I'm thinking of getting the Ninja 2 and the uh, Wakisashi. And then um, Splint Mail sounds really nice. It's Armor Class 4, Chainmail is Armor Class 5. So Splint Mail is actually the best one we can buy right here. 13, so we have not a lot of money left for anything else, but I want a helm. So that's basically everything we can afford. So we don't have any ranged weapons. But I think that should get us um, pretty far. Yeah, let's get some black ale. No rumors? Oh, I'm so scarce these days. You don't think it was a valuable as gold. But a good thing, a good thing at all. Oh well, we knew that already. Now... Oh, we could have sold our... Um... Alright, let's put on the nice um, splint mail. Hell yeah. Put on the helmet. And dual wield. Oh, we can? Ah, oh, there you go. As an offhand weapon. Sweet! So we do a wielding right now. Uh, we can sell the... the My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. The quarter set. Well, yeah, he doesn't even take it. Let's just... Uh, can I just toss it away? Grunt, there you go. All right. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk to uh, what's her name? Flidia. My book. Oh, you remind me of Gorin when he grinned like that. Raising it has been hard on him, I know, but he says it's a toil of love, a toil of destiny, even. You must be a very special child indeed to draw such praise from a man of his silent nature. Here, take this little gem of mine. Maybe Winthrop will give you a little something for it. Oh, let's see. I like monies. Just sell this. And let's see how much money we, we actually get for this. Oh, seven gold. I don't think there's... I really can buy anything for seven gold. I could buy arrows and a sling. No, like sling and bullets, but um, arrows and a bow. But bows are very, very expensive. Yeah, so... Um, I don't really know. Mm, I could buy throwing daggers. I could buy darts. 1d3 missile. Yeah, so that's something. Um, something to throw. I can equip this. Oh, I can him. Even... 
Oh, that's interesting. So I either can have an offhand weapon or ranged ones. This is kind of meh. Hmm, interesting. So I can switch between those. And, um, I mean, there were two go. It's not too bad. I, I can just take um, a look and see how it feels using the darts and if they do any good. No, this is more quick slots, I think. Oh, and here I can sneak. Nice. <clears throat> then this is use items, and this is to put my trap down, set snare. All right, let's get ready to leave Candle Keep and actually go into the Candle Keep. I think the um, the guy in the inn told us something about the Identifier Scroll. I might just take it. You always can use an Identifier Scroll. Hey, uh, it's me, Emmowen. I'm surprised that stuffy old Gorian let you away from your studies and chores. That old fiddle-faddle. I snuck off too. Old Puffguts Winthrop was looking for me, but I've got all day to do this chores. You have time for a story today? No? I can tell you don't. What have you been up to? Hmm. What are you gonna say to her? I'm afraid I cannot chat today, little one. My foster father wishes me to prepare for a journey, but will not say to where. Little one? I'm not much younger than you. Though you sure got tall fast. Relatively, anyway. A journey, eh? I never get to travel. Wish I could go with you. Yep, I really wish I could. Yes, sir. Really do. Alright, alright. I get the message. I'll ask if you can't go with us. Oh, don't be silly. Gorion would never even let you finish the sentence. Especially after what that letter of his said. Er, did I say that? No, of course I didn't. Never saw no letter. Nope, I'll just get back to work now. You had better going. Goran's waiting. Well, that helps me a lot. She's telling me there's something interesting in that letter, but she's not going to tell me. Seriously? Okay. Oh, my child, I am glad I have found you. This is very unnerving, I know, but you must trust me. It is very important that you pack your possessions so that we may leave Candle Keep immediately. Hurry, for there is no time to tarry. The keep is well protected, but not invulnerable. But I'm not as naive and be like, what could possibly harm us here? This place is a fortress and guarded beyond measure. Please, Father, tell me where we will be going. Alas, I cannot. For I have not truly decided yet. All that is certain is that we will be far safer on the move. Perhaps the woods might offer some secluded security, or perhaps the city of Baldur's Gate would offer cover amidst its teeming throngs of people. I do not know where we shall end up, but I have a few friends here and there. Hmm. I will think on this. Well, I'm ready to go right now. Let's do this. Listen carefully. If we ever become separated, it is imperative that you make your way to the Friendly Arm Inn. There you will meet Khalid and Jahira. They have long been my friends, and you can trust them. Let's hurry, child. The night can only get worse, so we must find shelter soon. Don't worry. I'll explain everything as soon as there is time. Wait, there is something wrong. We are in an ambush. Prepare yourself. You're perceptive for an old man. You know why I'm here. Hand over your ward and no one will be hurt. If you resist, it shall be a waste of your life. You're a fool if you believe I would trust your benevolence. Step aside and you and your lackeys will be unheard. I am sorry that you feel that way, old man. No! 
Those guys look really dangerous. Look at how big they are, but he just chops them to pieces. It's not giving a fuck. No, he died. Dawn is especially cruel this morning. You awake with the realization that you have not been living some horrible dream. Ambushed, you saw Gorion cut down before your eyes, and even his powerful magic could not stop the onslaught. It was his wish that you flee, but that does not remove the feeling of helplessness that now overwhelms you. Hand over your ward, the armored fiend had said. He was after you and you alone, but why? If only Gorion had given some clue. But now you are alone and lost. Candlekeep is near, but you will find no quarter there. The readers pay for their serenity with rather draconian entry rules, and without Gorion's influence, their doors will remain closed. You will not last long on your own with your meager equipment. Perhaps you can get some help from the friends Gorion mentioned, the ones at the Friendly Arm. Great, now those really, really powerful guys are after us. Hey, uh, it's me, Imowen. And we have Imowen, Imowen around. Great, so she followed us anyway. And we just had to witness how Gorion got slaughtered by that group of seemingly very powerful people, considering he's a powerful mage, and they still killed him. And when, sorry, I followed you, but I never get out of Candlekeep, and those monks are such a bore. Never any decent coin in their pockets, neither. I, I saw Gorion, and I'm so sorry. I kind of figured something bad might happen to you out here. How could you have known? Gorion did not even tell me. I accidentally read a letter on his desk the other day. Can't remember exactly what it said, but he might still have... It, it might be on his... his buddy. Anyway, I'm not gonna let you wander around out there all alone. Never let a friend down. No, sir. Stick with you until you say otherwise I will. Alright, so we're out of candle keep, and we're out in the wild. Imwen You're did join now. us. Um, she is... What is she? She's a human, neutral good, um, thief. So I'm already a thief, so she's a thief. So I don't know if um, we will keep her very long in the party. Certainly we will keep her in the beginning, at least until we find uh, Kalicia and the other guy that was mentioned. But so far, thanks so much for joining the second episode of Baldur's Gate. See you next time.